his questions. Everybody was healthy and available for practice. Healthy and available? Uh, yep. I know uh, Shane, Shane Winnington uh, did not practice. Um, got kicked in the leg. Yeah. Don't think it's uh, any concern with the, where the leg broke. I'm curious when you hear uh, Paul say something like he did on Monday that, you know, it's, it's very possible that I could come back this year if there are playoffs. Just as a coach and the information that you've been given, um, what, what do you think about that? I'm, uh, you know, I want him to, you know, push his rehab, you know, to try to get back as, as soon as uh, is, is safe. You know, but we're we're going forward like he's not going to play this year. You know, we're we're anticipating you know, our approach with the team. We got to become a great basketball team without Paul George. And it's not and if, been. If, if he makes it back sooner than than then, then you know we'll cross that bridge when it comes to us. Do you know exactly what you'll have him be doing during the season? Has that been determined no. quite yet? No, I mean just uh, other than you know I want him you know uh, working with our wings you know on the defensive assignment of that night for that next opponent. We're playing the Knicks. I want him, you know, talking to you know, Copeland and CJ Miles and Solomon Hill, and you know, this is what you got. This is what I tried to do when I guarded Carmelo Anthony. You know, and just those types of things. What have you seen since from Damo so far in his shot? And, and good looking shooter. Uh, really good basketball IQ. He's picking things up very quickly. Um, you know, he's getting used to the speed of the, you know, speed of this this level. Um, but you know, giving us some. Some good, you know, good, uh, good play. How much of a learning curve do you expect or planning on, sort of, with him? Some, you, you know, I think every time you come over to the NBA, um, well, you play in the NBA from any level, from playing overseas, from playing in college, from playing in the D League. There's a different, different speed, physicality to this game. So there's certainly going to be an adjust, adjustment level. More so on defense, more than anything, because your system. Um, and everything. I don't know. I, I, I think both ends. Okay. You know, just the, the general speed of the game. You were raving about all the work George put in over the summer. Has that shown so far in training camp? It has. Yeah, I think so. I think he's more assertive uh, with the basketball. You know, it's it's tough to, to gauge in the first three days of camp. When you go on double sessions, you're going this hard when they're not used to going this hard um, and this length of, of, uh, of time. Everybody's body's sore, you know, so no one's out there, you know, shooting 80% from the field and, and, and all that stuff. So, um, you know, but certainly, you know, he, he's, he's playing confident basketball. Is he taking on more of a leadership role as well? He is. He is. And, uh, you know, he's he's always, you know, had the mindset to be a leader. But I just think, you know, you know more so this year, you know, with, uh, you know, the situation we're in, I think he's trying to be more of a leader.